<laughs> All right, we're back. We're about to get into round two here, and we have an absolutely gorgeous display board here from one of the teams that's going to be playing with us, made by Joe Sloboda. So and well done. It is gorgeous. Taylor, if you want to pick that up and just move it a little bit closer to the camera, if you can, maybe not. It's it's very delicate. But He's scared to touch it. it. This thing is absolutely incredible for his display board. It's got a grocery store uh, kind of corner mart thing with a Dormammu comic uh, billboard. This is just so incredibly good looking. Uh, Joe will be playing um, on the left side of the table today with us. Uh, we're going to take that off the board now as the teams are rolling for priority and stuff. So we have uh, some familiar faces here on one side of the board with the Brotherhood of Awesome making a return on a different side of the table. It looks like just the way matchups worked out for round two, uh, they wanted to get Joe the, and um, Joe and Jen out here with their awesome looking stuff. They just happen to be matched up with the Chewy and Omnis. Chewy and Omnis. What's that? Hammers and Riots. Hammers and Riots. Okay. Oh, those are the uh, so it does scenarios. Look, <laughs> it does look like we have uh, the Crisis Eye that we will be playing, and it'll be Hammers and Riots Spark over Extremis. So let's go over Jen and Joe's list. So for the first roster, uh, we got some Dark Dimension going on. Dormammu. Dormammu, Kingpin, Modoc, Crossbones, Mysterio, Sin, and Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme oh, version, which means it does cool. in fact come with sour cream, tomatoes, and lettuce. For their tactics cards, they took Helios Laser Bombardment, one of my favorites. Yeah. Dark Restoration, Smash, Extreme Conditioning, and Cruelty. What? are the other ones that they have on their list. So their second roster here, they have Iron Man, so they can use Helios Laser Bombardment, mm -hmm. Winter Soldier, Taskmaster, <gasps> Bullseye. Bullseye. First Wong. Bullseye of the day. Yeah. We got Wong, mm. Moon Knight, and Loki with the Mind Gem, so he's five threat. Nice. And what do they have practice cards, Dan? They got Follow Me. We got that again. I. It's very popular at Adepticon. Yeah. I'm surprised. Tactical Analysis. Patch up, one of my favorites, Indomitable, super Domino. popular, and Heave Ho. I mean, Domino, or I'm sorry, Indomitable is just a really nice, little bit more expensive, obviously, than Brace, but does something different. You're not throwing it all, not just not taking damage. J E N N O E. J E N N O E. Jano. Jano. I like that. That's an easy one to remember. Yeah. Jano versus Brotherhood of Awesome. I like how we have. I don't think any of these 14 characters we had on the other rosters, right? These are totally new. Correct, yeah, we're seeing a lot of new stuff, which is super great. Uh, we've seen the Brotherhood of Awesome, obviously, in the last game, so uh, we know that they are playing Brotherhood, but they could also go with Freedom Force. Yeah. Might see another Juggernaut on the table. All right, we so are going Dark Dimension. Awesome. We, we have the, the declarations made early for Brotherhood and Dark Dimension. I was just going to say we have 23. 23. I like. Same as last time? 23. Yeah. Nice big game that uh, Dormammu likes that a lot. Being oh, eight threat. Absolutely. And, you know, it's been a hot minute since we've seen Hammers, too. I'm glad to see them back at the table, <laughs> especially with a bullseye. We could see four hammered bullseye really at any point. I could see the Brotherhood of Awesome trying to go for that. Yeah. No, yep. no, no. I'm sorry. The other team, the Geno has. Geno. Well, uh, I don't know their style, so we'll see. Maybe they're the kind of players that'll go for four hammers. Maybe they're the kind of players that won't even play Bullseye. No, uh, no, I don't. I don't believe in that. <laughs> He's in their roster, so there's certainly a chance. Right. All right, we're gonna switch over to the board as priority and stuff is being rolled for. Looks like we have a slightly different setup than last time which is perfect. We kept our cosmic terrain because there wasn't, uh, the first round went a little late, so there wasn't much time between. So we just got a rearrangement of it. We still got that sweet Quinjet in there. If you're curious about that new kit coming out real soon to the masses, it's awesome. It's huge. It looks great. It does. It looks incredible. All right. 
Measuring out objectives here. We're getting the board set up. So I am super excited to see some Helios Laser Bombardment. It is one of my favorite tactic cards by leaps and bounds. Yeah, it's so cool. Hope to see Moon Knight take the field here. Wouldn't mind seeing, I mean, I said before, I kind of wanted a Juggernaut break, but I wouldn't mind seeing him out of there again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to see that dimension. Uh, it was one of those ones where I, I, we weren't really sure if we were going to see it at all or if we were going to see a whole ton of it, but I, I'm, I'm happy it's here. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see Dormammu. We haven't used him in a regular, like, dogfight game on Oh Yeah, the Power Phase yet. Yeah. We, we did um, his organized play kit twice, we switched sides, and we did his ultimate encounter at least once. But he's never actually just been a squad leader yet for us. So I'm really Correct. excited to see what he does in a normal game. Yep. All right. So tell us in chat, if you guys have played Dark Dimension before, what do you normally use as affiliation tokens for the, for the scoreboard? Do you use um, like a Cabal or... You make your own. I like the idea of using the different colored swirly bits from his ultimate encounter. I forget yes. what the objectives are called in that. Uh, but the, the things like the seal the portals or whatever. Right, yes. I think that works pretty well. Grab the blue one. I like that. Brighter printed his own. I think those are the extremist councils going down now. So we have some extremist councils here. Uh, everything's oh. on D here with okay. hammers as well. So the hammers will be in the same spot. So let's just turn these uh, extremist councils into hammers. Oh, there we go. Hammering Beautiful around. Beautiful hammers. Thanks. Uh, I didn't go to art school, but you couldn't tell. It just it looks so good. Oh, I think incinerate with like CAD and things. Yeah, I think incinerate tokens are actually a great one. That's a really good idea, Venport. I think okay. that's what we've used before. I think I've used uh, hex tokens as well. Yeah, that, I think that also works really well. Yeah, those are good ideas. All right, so we have Mr. Tisdale, Primo, MCP judge here on the board. Giving some instructions to Ominous and Janelle. House of W, thank you for the follow. Yeah. All right, if you're interested in some of the other Marvel Crisis Protocol events happening at Adepticon this year, we will be covering tomorrow, the first day of the Contest of Champions. Mm. On Sunday, we will be showing the top eight of the Contest of Champions as well. Maybe even some open play. Maybe we'll take some... Uh, some requests get some people on the table might see the AGG again some more ominous well, we um, got squads coming in maybe yes we got is this Gen Geno's team this is Geno's oh Iron Man as someone that loves Helios orbital bombardment uh, you gotta have Iron Man you gotta have Wong Bullseye <laughs> is gonna be on the table Loki with the mind gem Dormammu and Winter Soldier Danny oh Bucky are you happy about that? Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> Loki sorry. Does I have the mind gem. Bucky is there. New cards laminated. Looking beautiful. Loki's mind gem. Dan, what do they got for tactics? Tactics cards. We got extreme conditioning. I love to see Dormammu move long across wow, the table. It's terrifying. Or Bullseye probably is the target of that. Ooh, one of my favorites that we haven't seen on our channel yet. Dark Restoration. Someone's coming Ooh, back. We have seen that, actually. Oh, no, that's right. We did see that. Yeah. A uh, smash. Nice. Which is All right. cool. Ooh, that's actually... Does Dormammu have a physical attack? I don't know. Wow, that could be devastating. Patch up. Nice. Classic follow me. I'm liking that we're seeing so much follow me. It's really interesting. And usually it's considered too expensive, but... Yeah. Sure. Uh, I'll let me have one more card. Just, you know, Helios Laser Bombardment. Helios Laser <laughs> Bombardment. <laughs> 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 you do have it. Thank you, sir. I want to see, oh man, I like that in Dark Dimension a lot with how much power that team can generate. Absolutely. Everybody gets an extra in the power phase, right? And then Dormammu gets one anytime a teammate is hurt? Yes. 
So, so we're not probably going to be seeing Smash on Dormammu, but it would have been cool. I'll be yeah, so targets. His affiliation ability, he gives everyone on his team during the power phase one additional power. If any of those characters have six or more power, they suffer in damage. He also has the Master of the Realm of Darkness. When this character suffers damage from an enemy effect, he'll only ever gain one power, similar to having stun. When another allied character is damaged by an enemy effect, or by the Flames of the Fault Line, which is uh, his affiliation ability, which gives people power, he gains a power Fault as team. well. Fault team. I always forget that. It's just like uh, a chocolatey drink. There's only two characters Oh here. my goodness. Wow, that yeah. is power play. All right. I didn't realize she was in their, in their roster. So, so Chuck, who, awesome. do, who do we have for the, well, the Brotherhood here? So the Brotherhood are bringing um, probably what I would argue is the uh, biggest army I've ever seen <laughs> step up onto the board. <laughs> We've got <laughs> Magneto uh -huh. and Angela. <laughs> I do think they're making a last oh minute God. addition to their team. Uh oh, uh, who do you got? We've got Juggernaut coming in. We've got Ooh. Mystique packing in that saboteuring yes. heat. And then, um, I guys, I don't know if you've ever seen this character before. Uh, I've heard a bit of a, a bit of a, a not typically played a little Doctor Voodoo. Doctor so this, Voodoo. This is our first Doctor Voodoo. We didn't see any yesterday during the uh, the draft because you know, it wasn't it available. There. But for tactics cards, we have another follow me. Do you know who I am? Do you? Deception, Asteroid M, which we have seen used to just incredible effect yeah. On, yeah. on a lot of the games this week. Climbing Gear and Med Pack. I'm excited to see another Juggernaut on the table. I'm excited to see Dr. Voodoo. I'm excited to see Bullseye and Iron Man. Oh, I can't wait to see where I they're at. I love their Daniel token goes. everything that I'm seeing here. Um, Brotherhood of Awesome has priority against Janelle as we get right into the next game. Chat writer asks, who's your bet for affiliation to win the contest of champions over the weekend? It's hard to not say Avengers, like gut reaction. I do have three but, leaders in the biggest roster, so. And I'll say one of the things that I, I didn't really realize was uh, Hulkbuster. Iron Man. Absolutely smashes deal with the devil. A Hulkman Iron Buster. A Hulkman Iron Buster. He's so good. So some of those those mainstays age of ultron or uh deal with the devil we have some handshakes we're going to start strong here code of honor is in effect code of honor is handshakes in effect. are out <laughs> um but i think avengers or i would really like to see midnight suns i'd like to see some fresh blades cutting up the competition yes so uh family can we talk yeah, real let's, quick. we probably should. Yeah, real let's talk. talk about real talk one minute. How many buildings uh, do you think will be left, not including the Quinjet, when you have Magneto on the board and you have uh, 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 nope, the other guy Jugs on the board? Mm. Um, and then who else has who else has throws on the other side of the team? Do we even know what they're playing? Yeah, um, so they are playing uh, Dormammu, mm -hmm. Iron Man, Bullseye. Oh, Moon Knight. so guaranteed win. Yeah, yeah. You got a bullseye. Was Moon Knight in their squad? I don't recall. Uh, Wong and Loki with the mind gem. Loki with Was the any mind. throws? It might not look like it. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm very excited to see Loki with a mind gem. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I prefer Loki with a space. You know me. I like the movement shenanigans of moving um, myself over my other opponents. Yeah. Um, but I, there's no question that a, a mind gem, especially in especially in this setting mm -hmm. where we are, which is Adepticon, right. you're going to want to bring the best. Juggernaut is going to be the first deployed. What a big boy. Okay. Not in the center this time. Not in the center, which I, I mean, I feel is really usually the place for him. You don't want to have him get trapped on one side and not be able to make it to the fight. We saw how fast he can be, though, given yeah. a little bit of power. Absolutely. I mean, look... There, if there's one thing that's going to happen this game, a ruckus is going to be caused. You might as well start corner to corner, post to post. I mean, Ooh, listen, that's... you got to match strength with the same amount of strength. Bold <laughs> move. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love it. Bullseye on the table. Mystique going into the center. Mystique going into the center. 
Winter Soldier going on the other side. Right in the center on their side. Give them good... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's that? Just Winter. Just Bucky. I love, I'm i so really happy to see a Bucky on the table. I, I feel like... I feel like with these new erratas coming out and, and everything being more balanced, being more fair, it's truly time for Bucky to get his shine. Yeah. And I absolutely love that he is, he's become a really good, fair contender. Mm -hmm. Magneto going into the center, a spot normally reserved for Juggernaut. I'll oh, be honest, yeah, a lot more Juggernauts than I was expecting. Oh, yeah, I mean, so far. new character, for me, if it's new character syndrome, I wouldn't bring him to a tournament, personally. Mm, right. Um, just because, like, I don't want to have to stand there and reread the card. Great, so I don't read the cards to begin with, so I find yeah. it a little weird. <laughs> You're just walking around the tables, there's a ton of Juggernauts. There's a lot of Juggernauts, a lot of Dr. Voodoo's, which we, true. we knew we were going to see. A lot of Hulks, too. Like voodoo on the board. Well, Hulk is so good now. Yeah. There's no reason with that update not to not to have him in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. Having a... Having a Hulk in a pocket is is a way to go. The old Hulk, Hulk pocket. Yeah. Hulk pocket. Do you think at all there is a chance that um, Winter Soldier will absolutely just decimate an old man in Magneto? I, That's no, my call. You no, know what? I'm going to so. do it right now. My big Chuck call of this game. Uh-oh, here it is. Big Chuck call of the game. I'm doing it right now. Winter Soldier is absolutely going to obliterate Magneto one shot, done and over. Is it possible? I don't know. I don't do math, man. But I think it's going to happen. That's my call of the game. That's Big Chuck's big call of the game. <laughs> Taylor, would you adjust that? That side is a little high. Shift this way. Yes. Nope. Nope. Other way. Other way. Whee! I keep going. Keep going. No. Keep going. Yes, now we're level. Thank you. And of course, shout out to the terrain team here at Adepticon. Did For an real. absolutely amazing job. That Quinjet is so gorgeous. And thank you to Atomic Mass Games for sending him out. Yeah. So we could get him painted up. A we like I have anything to do like with, so the team, with it at all. <laughs> we so as team, part of Team Adepticon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we being able to put it on the table. They're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, shout out to Dormammu. Dormammu. Oh, look at him. So I big. am so unbelievably excited to see Dormammu in this game. Yeah, um, a character that I would. I'm so excited that we that that it's not us getting to play Dormammu. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to see it in full effect. I want to see Dormammu destroying things in full effect. And Tim having to unbelievably control himself this entire game is going to be the, my favorite thing, I think. It's already been very difficult. Yep, I can tell. But uh, listen, I'm going to get through it. We can and, do this together. And True Wilders know exactly what we're talking about. True Wilders. So you should exactly head over to our about. YouTube channel real quick and just check us out. We are uh, the Professional Casual Network. Oh, yeah, the power phase here on Twitch hey, and then over on YouTube. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait, did I roll a wild? All right. Ryder is asking if we could get AMG to make a unique terrain piece, what would it be? Ooh. That's um, a great question. That's Spider a great, buggy. I mean, for my first immediate thought, um, that that thing that the uh, Fantastic Four flew in that was like uh, the Fantastic, Force Fantastic car? car? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. I want a Fantastic Car that can be hurled. Um, but doesn't uh, doesn't destroy. It just gets replaced because it hovers. <laughs> I want, want the spider buggy. Oh, you jerk! <laughs> you knew I would. I had. I, oh wait, I no. Buggy I, on my lips. Can I change, I can I change already, my answer real quick? No. Change yeah. my answer. Cyclops' motorcycle. <laughs> can uh, we just get a terrain pack that's random Marvel vehicles like that? Spider yeah. buggy, Fantastic car, Cyclops' motorcycle with Wolverine on it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so we did see Juggernaut bases, move in yeah, for Brotherhood right. of Awesome, taking the first activation and running up to pick up a hammer as well as contest an extremist council. Here's the good thing, uh, Crooked Rue. Uh, it already exists. The Rune Sentinel already exists. Uh, Cy uh, Colossus is literally stopping his foot through. Yeah. We are measuring, measuring. from the board edge. And now we've had these Sentinel pieces in terrain and and Colossus's base. I want an, the, like the full Sentinel model yeah. as a playable thing. I think that'd be super cool. 
an OP. Even unaffiliated I would love, an, o, I would love yeah. an OP with, with a set, like, much like how we dropped Dormammu, mm-hmm. getting like a Sentinel version of Dormammu. Yes, I think absolutely. Really You're looking at the, the pieces a, on the turn, they're about the size of yeah. Dormammu, so that would be, i take yeah, it. Yeah, track, yeah. Come with an ultimate encounter, mm-hmm. maybe even have multiple of them. I yeah. would love the idea of a Brotherhood having an a threat or a, or a whole new affiliation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if there's a time to drop Striker, that's the time to do it. Right. A new right. version of Cassandra Nova that's a leader for Sentinels. Yeah. So it looks like we're going to see Dormammu go right over the Cosmic Taco Shop. Juggernaut is the first activation. Let's just do terrain. It's a hammer. Absolutely. All right, there's hammers again. Juggernaut has a hammer. That's scary. Yeah, I, the last thing I would want if I'm across the table is to have, see a Juggernaut picking up any or all hammers. Yeah. But it makes sense why he put him in that corner deployment. Did? I think Dormammu's going to go for a hammer, too, I think though. he is. I think he's going to double move. Wow, what an how what a what a presence on the table Dormammu is. With so that makes his basic his builder what strength what seven? That makes his builder a seven. Range four. Strength Dormammu. seven. X and seven. So he did pick up a hammer as he started out as well. Oh my god, he two has two hammers. hammers. So that builder is now a strength eight. Wow. Does Dormammu have flight? Dormammu. I don't think so, but he's size four, so he's he can size move right four, over so it. He's size four, so he can move so the, uh, the Space Taco in, uh, store is a size three. It's size four. It's size four. Oh, so, is it size four? Yeah, we got to confirm last okay. game. We weren't sure. Dormammu picked up a hammer here, then beelined it, double moved over here, grabbed another hammer. We are double hammering. do 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 <laughs> Guess what, Chuck? Those yeah. aren't hammers now. They're <laughs> eyes for a smile. That's a happy. He's crying. He's so <laughs> happy. <laughs> Much like I do. Oh, Ryder says he says five. Oh, he says five. Oh, yeah. Okay. We just had the card up. We did. <laughs> but we then did. it went away. Steve moves up deception. Steve, Steve moves, moves up Steve. immediately doing Uh-oh. deception. I mean, is this Dormammu. something you want Ooh. closer to you? Because Dormammu is now in the Brotherhood of Awesome deployment base. If there's a dog pile, it could happen here. But Juggernaut being at the southern edge of the field. Tim, I want blood and bleed and, and every other condition. I want it now. I, I want I want some bloodshed. But. Sorry, Dormammu's immune to most of the conditions. <laughs> he is immune to a They've lot. They've only got 10 stamina to go through with four, four, five. He's immune defenses. to bleed, stagger, and incinerate. The yeah. three things I was really hoping for. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if we have a whole ton of poison or stun on the board, but who I mean, knows? And here's the thing. Dormammu is packing a four, four, five. Yeah. On defenses, like the four four five helps him stay alive. There it is. Mm-hmm. Ten health, medium move. He's a size five. He's eight threat. Well worth his points. Yeah, for this I do have Magneto pretty near him though. Yeah, so I think that's and that's honestly like a comic book face off. I would adore to see. Yeah. Oh gosh. I mean, if they could daze Dormammu turn one would be just brutal for Team yes. Geno. I don't know if it's gonna happen. He is a beefy, tanky guy, but. Is he have any kind of damage reduction? He does so. not. His damage reduction comes in the form of really high defenses. And a ton of stamina. Mm-hmm. All right, so it looks like we're double moving up a bullseye to sh- sh- show down with his equal, Juggernaut. <laughs> Absolutely. Juggernaut with a hammer. They might actually be on even keel now. Oh, yeah. I mean, that does give Juggernaut, you know... Uh, beefs him up a little bit to put him somewhere near the same plane. I love Bullseye so much. I am so happy. This is unironically. You have been a long time Bullseye fan. Uh, yeah. Like, Listen, I've like stayed tried and true. Beginning. Yep. You were a point deck store. Mm-hmm. I absolutely am. That Ben is the men for me. I'll tell you. <laughs> so we have some del- deliberation on Team Brotherhood after that power move of Bullseye. Yeah. Oh, they passed. Got another pass. Brotherhood of Awesome has We're passed. We're seeing a lot of passing. Yeah. This seems like a it seems like Something a strategy. Something we just heard about. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd they move up there? Is that Iron Man? Looks like it. Yep. Are we going to see a... Oh, tactics cards-wise, did they bring Helios Cannon? I yes. That I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait for a Helios Cannon. They must have a good amount of power on this squad already. Yes. They're already getting two with Dormammu. Nice. So, Spatrick, no, we haven't heard any news yet, but we're all excited for it when it does happen. Current question is, do they just hurt Dormammu? It's a big question indeed. So, the, the Brotherhood of Awesome is 
kind of debating, uh, listen, is this possible? Can we do this? I feel like that's the right call. Getting him at a position like that, just go after him with the rest of your characters, make him drop two hammers, pick him up. That's a huge well, so swing. So here's the thing, too, is you have Dr. Voodoo right there who could put the Brother Daniel token on Dormammu, but there is not a more expensive character to try to put it on. It would cost five power. How does it, how, what, how does the power determination so work it's a, there? It costs X where you pay its threat to put the Brother Daniel token on. Oh, but he's it's eight threat. threat. I was thinking it's size for a second there. No, it's threat. It is, is it threat. possible to put it on Dormammu? I mean, then? yes, it is possible. No, I mean, not anytime soon. Not easy. Ominous is choosing violence. Going after Dormammu. Oh, Angela. Oh, Look, here if we there go. is somebody on the table other than Juggernaut to punch Dormammu's face directly back into the dimension in which he came, it's going to be Angela. It is probably going to be Angela. The absolute meat grinder. We've seen Angela kind of fall off. Yeah. Um, a fall out of favor. And I really like that she's kind of back. Correct. Because um, she, she was one of the kind of like negative erratas that we saw. Didn't really get anything. Balance. I shouldn't say negative. Got a really good balance. Yeah. Um, Angela is still a meat grinder. Yeah. And can kind of take a punch back if she needs to. Not really, but I mean, she's an old juggernaut, but she can beef it out. Let's see how she does here. We got our uh, offense, we got our attack roll, our defense roll. They're talking about some. Ooh, Angela only, only doing one to Dormammu. Good oh, was that a roll. sound? I thought somebody was actually clapping. <laughs> I was like, oh, so a good tournament game? All right. Crooked Rook uh, redeemed some points. For Heck the applause. Thank you so much. Applause. All right, and we're throwing some terrain and like Dormammu it. from Angela. Let's get using that them. Beefy four physical might. defense, though. Looks like there was a crit. I saw another diathrone. Okay. How much did we take? And then two from the terrain. Just two, two from, from the terrain. terrain. Uh, an incre like a great turn, honestly, for well, She Nama. had to move up to make that attack, right? She so did. she's she's done dealing damage. I mean, Rook Rook she's got out seven to go. Chuck. Chuck. Between Brother da Brother Voodoo and Magneto, they might be able to do it, but it'll be difficult with those defenses. I mean, it's three out of ten. They're they're. 30% of the way there already with one activation. You know, yeah. I thought that was a little low at first, but that's still pretty solid, especially for how much threat. I mean, you're talking eight threat potentially dazed in the first round. Yeah, if you put all your effort into dazing in first round, it's absolutely worth it. And to drop two hammers. They're, they're going to sacrifice a ton of points to do it, though, but they're going to be getting one from Juggernaut's hammer. They probably lost the top extremist point, but... Who's up there with Iron Man? Iron Man and Mystique. Oh, Mystique. Yeah, and they got others that can get there. Mm -hmm. But let's see. We're looking at cards. Reminder, Dormammu only gains one. Yes. Damage right. Skulls only work on Dormammu's attacks. Okay. Mm. He's, not, he's better at attacking than defending, but... So we're just taking a look at his here, just redoing. It's when he suffers damage, not when he deals damage. Because he just has straight sap, but when taking Angela, damage, he only begins one. Angela picking up the front hammer on the Brotherhood of Awesome's deployment zone. A little curious why they didn't do that before she attacked, but maybe they just forgot. Uh, they probably wanted to make sure they had power to get some damage on, hoping to generate a little bit of power from one of her attacks before picking up the hammer. Otherwise, they're just playing like us. It seems risky to, to hope to generate power to pick up the objective, but they still yeah. have two people back there that could have gotten it for the point. Oh, Spatrick, thank you for telling us that. Let me see if that's something I turned I can alter. The, I turned the mixer down a little, or the laptop down a little bit, and our mic's okay. up just a little bit, try to balance it out. Gotcha. Let us know if the background sound gets ended up getting a little louder or not. I can hear anything there. So I, I turned on this one first, thinking it was me. Oh, thank you. All right. Looking like we're going to be moving Wong up. Going to be standing on that. Riot Sparks extremist point. The hammer's gone, but that's okay. Dan trying to collapse the stage. <laughs> 
All right, so it sounds like there is some damage going out here. We've measured Angela is fully activated. Wong is up, I think he meditated. And it looks like the Brotherhood of Awesome is choosing who they're gonna do. Danny, do you think they dogpile that Dormammu? I think you have to. I think you have to. You I pull them in with you have to get rid of all, yeah. as early as right. possible. And I feel like with Dormammu, like it's one thing with She-Hulk or even Juggernaut to just kind of ignore them and like hope that nothing awful happens. Dormammu, yeah. you can't just ignore that model. Like you have to address it. And I think a, a good old fashioned dog pile is the best way to do it. Yeah, 100%. So. Even without Lockjaw, I think a dog pile is still the way to go. Yeah. So Dr. Voodoo is gonna be going here. I'm so stoked about Dr. Voodoo. I mean, just, uh, I feel like even with Dormammu having five physical or mystic defense, Oh, looks like we're not going for Mamo. Oh. We might head in with Magneto. Okay. Kicked out of the hood. Thank you for the gift sub. You sound like a really special, good looking guy. Not. Uh, I know that dude. He's not the best. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But we appreciate him nonetheless, you know? Absolutely. Shout out to you, buddy. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a reverse polarity here. On the door, Mamu. For one. One is going through. Here's the good news. That's kind of what Dormammu wants. Mm. Is he can only gain one power anytime he takes damage. Brutal. I will say this. Uh, I bet you he didn't know that he's gifted 11 of them. That is news to him. What's that? All right. We're pushing Dormammu with that reverse polarity as he is outside of range two. So he did not get the rerolls on that attack. Yeah. But... He's bringing him right in. Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. All right, so this will let Dr. Voodoo on the next activation on from the Brotherhood of Awesome get two attacks directly into the Dark Dimension himself. It seems like a bold, bold move, Cotton. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I'm, I'm very curious to see where this is going to go. This seems... I get, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to get Dormammu, like, pinned oh, into gotcha. a, pinned in kind of like an area. So it looks, it looks like Dormammu has used Feel the Power of Darkness. He was attacked and he spent two power to move the attacking character. Back to, and Magneto is now throwing that Cosmic Taco Stand at Dormammu as well. Great play with uh, Feel the Power of Darkness. Instead of just taking more hits from Magneto, get him over there. Dormammu's taking three from that throw. Wow. That is... That's incredible. That's not great. That's not great for Dormammu. No. I don't like it. No. No. I did not anticipate it going down like that for sure. Right. Nope. <laughs> taking seven She's damage. Taking seven Do you think we're, we're just about to see a, a full-on drag-out, old-school, just, just fist fight between Dormammu and, and Magneto at this point? Or so, do you think this is a situation where they need to kind of separate, get, you know, maybe do a jaunty little dance and then get out of there? You know here, what I mean? Here's the thing I'm terrified of is next round, if Dormammu does not get flipped by Dr. Voodoo, a double incantation of obliteration, no breathing on the Brotherhood of Awesome, which could decimate scores of people. That is an yeah. eight strength mystic attack that if the right combination is rolled, Targets additional characters. Wow, I kind of want to see that happen. Though. I kind of you know, do it's too. Like, it's like mythical in its own right. Well, and it's like I, I feel like regardless of what happens, we're going to see that next round, which is exciting. Um, it's just a matter of whether he stays. Um, all right, so it looks like Doctor Voodoo's up. First Doctor Voodoo roll. We're seeing just. His builder here, probably trying to build up for a staff of Legba. Two more damage on Dormammu. Uh-oh. Wow. Dr. Voodoo, doing two damage, would have enough now for staff of Legba. With the power burn, they need to roll a single while to daze him. Do, they, do you think they do that, or do they just go spirit venom, try to sap a little bit? You guys call it a day. You just, you got to spare venom and get, you need to get the power off Dormammu, like, now. Oh. 
So it looks like we're pushing Dr. Boo away. With, How would he do that? Um, so would Dormammu has a reactive where once he is attacked, he can use Feel the Power of Darkness for two power where he pushes the character away and also gives them Hex. Oh. I forgot about that. Okay. So Magneto is Hexed. All right. And now Dr. Voodoo is too. So if you were to ask, like, who would do the voodoo that you do, it might not be Dr. Voodoo anymore as it he's hacked. It might be You it could, suck! I mean, with any luck. <laughs> All right. Last. So we oh. didn't finish off Dormammu, but we did get his last power away. That's actually huge. No, Dormammu's spending a lot on those Field of Power of Darkness, honestly. Yeah. That's the long game, mm -hmm. getting hacks on people. But it'll be worth it. So here we go, chat. Dan made it quieter for us, not for you guys. Yep. So that one was very tolerable for us. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Don't was worry great. though, now it's turned down for you guys. So yep. feel free to start subbing again <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it'll be a significantly yeah, more enjoyable Yeah, if someone experience. could sub so that we could test out the sound volume, that yeah, would be real great. Quick, yeah. Real quick, that'd yep. be great. Yep. So yeah, so. Apologies, apologies to the two towers. Yeah. All right, how's that? Spatrick. Last activation, we're going Loki with the Mind Gem. Moving on up. To the ESA. To the, yeah. When I was talking to this particular uh, team, because I was really drawn to their display, yeah. they had this really cool like narrative behind why they had the team that they did. And they were saying that Loki was kind of like con like convincing all of them like in his trickster way to yeah. work together. Yeah. It's like, that's such a cool narrative to have. Like, I love that story. I mean, if it's for his benefit, I absolutely yeah, see that totally. happening, you yep. know? Yep. All right, okay. so we're trying to get Mystique out of the way with the Mind Gem, making sure she can't contest that point. Sounds good. She would also get some power from that, I believe, during the power phase. We do have a special guest over on the side. We do have a special guest over on the side. Oh, Jay's here. Jay's, Jay's in the here. house. You want to let Jay pop in? Yeah, I'd, I would argue uh, he's obtainable. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, welcome. All right. All right. If you insist. Well, you know, we do. Come on in. Hey, everybody. Janelle. Janelle. Five, five, three, five, three. All right. So we're finishing up round one. We're welcoming Jay, the fifth trooper himself. <laughs> How are you doing, Jay? Yeah, I'm doing really good. Uh, we just had a really stressful stream for our first round. Oh, what happened? So uh, for us, we had the number one and the number two players in the world got randomly picked to, to play round one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. The one of them is the, uh, so we, our last world championship was in 2019. Yeah. He's the former world champion. And the other one was who came in second place. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How did is, it go? The world champ took it. Okay. Yeah. Still has he it. Still has it. That's yes. a little crushing to walk in day one. <laughs> right. For the number two guy to be like, oh, this is, no, I'm not supposed to do this too much, much, much. Right? Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> well, we're all friends. And so we were sitting at the streaming table eating breakfast this morning and they're like, oh God, we don't want to be paired round one. And of course they yeah, were. Yeah, of so. course oh, they wow. were. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, wait a, what a way to start. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So you can basically just like kick back now, right? Like yeah, it's you've, all over. You've peaked. It's yeah, over. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut the stream down. We can't do anything. What's that? All right. all right, Brotherhood of Awesome going into round two. They're gonna try to drop the Dormammu right here. You have to, like you have to seize this momentum. He's, he's a big boy, he's yep. a big, big boy. Yep. And he could be brought down here. I mean, he's at least gonna be dazed and they have to do that before they he activates. To. Otherwise, yes. he's gonna be bringing a whole okay. bunch of pain. So you guys are streaming all day, right? Over on YouTube? Yeah, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Damn. Wow. <laughs> that was a long day. Yeah. I thought Tim made us keep long hours. <laughs> we have to do this two days in a row. Yeah. Wow. I mean, 
here's the good news. So what else outside of already seeing the number one and two guys fight each other uh, are we going to see? Yeah. I don't know. You know, today's kind of the early qualifiers, so we could even potentially see them go again because uh, three and one make it through today and four and all make it through today. Okay. Dormammu has been dazed. Dormammu is dazed. So they, that is a that sounds large... Bad. Magneto picks up both hammers and shakes hex. That's um, huge. And, you know, last game, yes, last game I feel did. like Magneto was, you know, he was kind of sitting by the sidelines. A little lackluster. Whereas now he's he's coming into his own. And, yeah, and now Magneto just flicked the, you know, Lord of the Dark Dimension into Dazed and then picked up both of his Thor hammers. Yeah. So. As you do. Here's the good news. Uh, Magneto, honestly, has a very limited uh, ceiling as to how scarier he could potentially yes. be. Yes. Yep. And it's by a factor of two more hammers. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds real bad. Listen, there's there's four <laughs> Thor hammers on the ground. You pick it up, oh. roll more dice, yeah. it's a lot of fun, and there's no limit to the amount of them you can have. Yes. They're told, what, four on the table? Yeah. So you could have four Thor hammers yep. on the table. Juggernaut has one, Magneto has one, and, you know, there's a fourth out there. I think Angela has it. Okay, cool. Uh, one of the things here, and Jay, I don't know if you're seeing this uh, on the Legion tables as well. Yeah. All the players have been absolutely incredible yes. with each other. Sportsmanship is in high form. Uh, we had a thing earlier in the last game where our rule was read wrong and it wasn't figured out until later, yeah. and it had a very big impact on the game. Everyone was cool about it, still shook hands, had a good time, and were laughing the whole way. Yeah, that's that's the great thing. Um, you know, we're we're new to the AMG family for, yeah. from Legion, but you know, something I've heard about all of MCP community is that it's a great bunch of people, and uh, that's the same in Legion. The community's amazing. Everyone's so nice and kind and very cool with each other. And just really good to see. Helios. So we're getting a Helios laser bombardment. This this spirit bomb is happening. We are. So if you're unfamiliar with how this works, so Iron Man has a satellite in the sky. He is pulling power off of every character that's willing to give it and is dropping a giant laser onto Magneto. Team Genoa. As you do, you know, well. Magneto took down Dormammu, so he put a target on his back. He's he's the one that this team's gonna go after. So we'll see. This will probably be a pretty hefty dice pool that they're building. Oh, that's incredible. But Jay, to your point, uh, I think Legion being at home with AMG is a great place for it. Yeah. If you have a good community that actually just likes to have fun and play games, yeah. this is the place to yep. be. Stop it. <laughs> 23. So everyone pulled their power. We've got 23 dice flying right now. Going into Magneto with two hammers. This is incredible. I love this. Everything is going through on Magneto. Wow, 23 dice. Magneto is dazed. Those hammers are gone. We were promised violence and we are getting it. We are getting <laughs> that violence. Wow. 17 hits. 17 hits. 17 hits. So they rolled 17 hits. Dan just told us from table side. They rolled 17 hits. They have a bunch of crits. They could have keep going, uh, but decided, you know what? They decided. Three times your health is already enough. We right. don't need. <laughs> they decided need to, to stop really rolling dice. It. But what a response to Dormammu being dazed to obliterate Magneto from the sky. That was incredible. We're dropping some hammers now off of Magneto. Tim, would you would you have pulled all of that defense? 23 dice, that's a lot of dice. Would you have gone that extreme? I, I think, narratively, you have to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dormammu's gone. You don't have any other fights on the field. It's just Dormammu there. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, it was hefty, but it paid off. Yeah. I feel like that's a tricky line to toe where if you don't use enough, then you might not get all the hits that you need. They might not all go through. Like, I feel like this uh, dice roll outcome was truly an outlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we should probably do that. 
Let's uh, let's show the people at home exactly what that Helios laser bomb oh, is. For everyone like. at home, this is my favorite part when he draws. <laughs> <laughs> we put all of the laser. <laughs> Who does? Voodoo. Voodoo. Also, in case you were wondering who helped fuel this laser, Winter Soldier helped, Bullseye helped, Loki helped fuel all of that power. It all coalesced into the Helios before just making Magneto real sad. Uh, and Dan said Voodoo has two hammers now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be a little rough. Now, Jay in Legion, is there any giant all or nothings I can spend every last bit I have to uh, to hopefully get some result? Yeah, yeah. We have uh, we have this thing called fire support. So some units can fire support, which means if they have an, a faced up order token, they can add to a dice pool. So you potentially okay. could have multiple units with fire support all add in to a dice pool and like one of the favorite things to do is have an Anakin throw his lightsaber and then have all the phase one clones or phase two clones fire support into that and try to destroy something off the board so I yeah love that. all right yeah and they're adding some new kind of play types and they have a bunch of new units and like sub affiliations coming out too soon right yeah that's correct we're getting the uh all the the I guess it's scum and villainy. So, uh, you know, like uh, Darth Maul and and the Pike Syndicate and, uh, you know, all the all the bad, like, bounty hunter syndicates. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And hopefully that comes out soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We're all been waiting. I, you know, and it's so cool. Darth Maul is always such a, an iconic character for Star Wars, him, finally yep. seeing him in the game. And it's so odd, too. I would have That would have been it. And that's all I would have needed. Yeah. <laughs> but after watching Book of Boba and finding out a little bit more about the Pike Syndicate, the fact that they're oh, going to be yeah. dropping in the game, too, is like, well, I, now I guess I don't know what I'm excited about. Yeah. Because it's all of it. Yeah, yeah. And I think so. We've had Boba Fett in for a while, which was, you know, the one from Empire. But now they're oh, I think yeah. they're adding uh, Old Man Boba Fett in, which is the one from Mandalorian or Book of Boba Fett that we're okay. seeing. So that's going to be awesome. exciting. That is awesome. Even though he's not that much older than Empire, but we think he's older, it's it's a real weird thing, right? Because yeah, it's, it's only like a year off or something, right? Or something like or a that. Yeah. Years. yeah. Yep. All right. Looks like we're seeing some tactics being discussed. All right. Well, I gotta go check on my stuff. You guys have been doing yeah, great. I'll absolutely. see you guys later. We'll see you soon, man. Hey, subscribe to all their stuff. Everything they've got. I don't know what they have, <laughs> but you subscribe right now. Do it. Thank you, Thank you, Jay. Please make sure to go check them out on YouTube as well. We've got attacks on Juggernaut now. All right. Juggernaut's going to be potentially getting hit. What? Okay. Nothing goes through. We're getting rapid fire. Winter Soldier's updates making him actually pretty solid. Yeah. No damage from either. That's too bad. That is. You know, a I shame. love me some Bucky. Right. OG Bucky lover. Mm -hmm. That's and that's what everyone knows you as. Yes, you know, absolutely. Yep. You've kind of been in Bucky's corner this whole time. I've got his back. Well, he needs it because yep. Juggernaut's right there. <laughs> I know he's gonna get wrecked with a hammer. <laughs> oh no. So do you think? So this is actually a, a really good matchup down here on the southern end of the board. We're doing right. another assault rifle attack into Juggernaut. This time, though, but what listen, feeling? your favorite, my favorite, down here facing off against Juggernaut. Yeah. Can they pull it off? Gosh, I hope they can. Two damage on Juggernaut. Listen, every bit counts. And we got rapid fire again. So, Mitch, I Some absolutely ball. envision Bucky getting his arm ripped off and just beaten to death with it, yes. Four shots, two damage. Okay. So the second rank of fire whiffed as well. Let's see. Does Juggernaut come right back out, try to daze Bullseye before he pops off? It could be anyone's game still. Jano ahead by two. Dr. Voodoo, though, having two. Two hammers, hammers. yeah. Yep. And it's such a shame after orbiting that laser directly into Magneto, dropping those two very precious hammers and not having anyone within range to go get them. Yeah. That's rough. That's really, really rough. Long doing his job on the back line. Oh, Juggernaut yeah. is attacking Bucky. It's been good to know you. 
Let's see the juggernaut strike we saw before just obliterated a toad from the sky, almost like its own orbital bombardment. Oof. Our juggernaut's fists, the same. Oh, we're counting up a lot of hits there. Looks like we got some spent knots chaining for a reroll. Five into Ooh, Bucky. Good. He's Bucky. Bucky is. We kind dazed. of anticipated that. Yep. Yeah, Mitch, Dr. Voodoo has two hammers. Bullseye. If anyone can do it, though, it's Bullseye. It's Bullseye. Well, it's a shame, too. I don't know if they got bleed on, um, if Winter Soldier was able to get bleed onto Juggernaut before his turn. Maybe he has to shake it, but it doesn't look like he did. But if there's something Bullseye can do. Oh, out of the four attacks? Dan, does Juggernaut have bleed? Does Juggernaut have bleed? Out of four assault rifles, there was zero wild roll? That's, uh... I wonder if that's... No wilds? Assault rifle has bleed on a wild. Assault rifle has bleed on a wild. Wow, that sucks. Yeah. See, and that, that's, why, that's why the show is, wait. Did I roll a wild? Yeah, at least we got so, to do that live. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the, the way did I roll a wild vibe? Really? The wilds? Okay. Rubbing off on the other players here. Awesome. Mitch and uh, Ethan, have a good time. Yeah, have fun playing. Ethan, good luck. Keep it casually professional. Yes. All right. So I think... Team Janelle is deciding who they're going to be going with next. They got Loki. They got Bullseye. They got Wong. Okay. Juggernaut moving, getting some power, building that momentum. Loki just casually strolling to the other side of that uh, extremist castle. Yeah, as he does. Mm -hmm. As Loki is wont to do. Not in any rush to go over to uh, that blender pod. Okay. So Loki going to be firing an ice beam into Mystique. Getting the slow on Mystique honestly was super worth it for two damage. Oh. Actually pretty solid on yeah. four dice. There's Loki's beam with five. And the slow. Yeah, only four on that beam. Well done. So really shortening Mystique's movement potential. Long to short, huge. Yeah. And uh, rightfully so, Mystique. Yeah. Mystique is getting that shake yeah. right off because it is in fact debilitating. Yeah. And that's the thing I think a lot about a lot of these status effects is that like that's an entire action yeah. to get rid of it. Like that can be incredibly debilitating, mm -hmm. especially if you have a specific strategy in mind. Just throwing wrenches in these plans. Yep. So it looks like that beam was gonna finish off Loki's activation. Mystique shakes, the slow moves back up to that riot, riot extremist council. Making sure that Loki does not get the point for that. And it looks like we are going from Bullseye into Juggernaut. And he's throwing stuff at the man. Bullseye attacks Juggernaut for nothing. Whiffing and skiffing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but there is a bleed. We got the bleed. The Juggernaut can bleed. That means we can kill it with a fist full of dice and a heart full of... Bullseye. Nice. No, or oh, Bullseye. Yeah, yeah. Or no, Bullseye. Yeah, right. yep. You know? He is the iciest uh, thrower of things. I, I completely agree. Right? A stone cold thrower. If there was anyone that I was going to pick to throw random stuff, it would probably actually be Moon Knight, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> so we saw four shots from Winter Soldier going into Juggernaut doing two total damage ah, yeah. and no bleeds that tracks no bleeds that tracks but it's okay because bullseye made him bleed 
<laughs> Bullseye made him blood. I'm trying to say blood. Bullseye as a verb. Blood. Which some might just call bleed. Well, I'm so, uh, Dormammu's just standing, I see, and that's actually pretty fantastic. He's dazed. Uh, he's there, though. Yeah. All right, one for one more attack. Juggernaut blocking three again. Wow. Chewy. Must have chewed the dice of that cursed lady in the parking lot. Really? So dice. many. Who is this woman giving out these cursed dice? Right? I want to know. Can I meet her? What's her secret? Ball. Let me tell you. <laughs> And what is she getting from these people? Uh, probably their soul, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. If, if there's anything I'm going to sell dice for, it's probably souls. Mm -hmm. yeah. For real. It is 12-17 here at Adepticon in the second game of the team tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what big, 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 big power plays did I miss so far? Yes. Besides uh, Dormammu obviously being dazed, like... Yeah, Dormammu going to the other side of the board. Mystique. Last Mystique. activation. Mystique going up and deceptioning Dormammu yeah. into their backfield. Yeah. Angela throwing stuff. Magneto coming up, being pushed away and hexed. Dr. Voodoo trying to get up there, get a hit in, being pushed away and hexed. Jeez. But now Dr. Voodoo has two hammers. Mm -hmm. We saw a 23 dice orbital bombardment. The entire oh team gosh. came together and blasted Magneto out of the sky. They have all of them. Okay. Brotherhood of Awesome has all the hammers. But So we saw Jeez. on those 23 dice that they threw, 17 hits, and they stopped rolling. There were still more crits to roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Magneto got smoked. That's insanity. That's yeah. absolute insanity. You should have seen it. We had some incredible graphics on the screen explaining what was happening, how the power was being drawn into the satellite and where it was headed. So somebody plays that card, right? Mm -hmm. So do you add hammers to that? Yeah, I think so. Right? Unless it specifically says on the card you can't add extra dice outside of critical results, uh, which I don't think it does. It could, though. Dang. If, if only we could look it up. If there was a database that we had that we'd be able to look things up in. Yes. That'd be pretty great, actually. It's not a crisis card. It, it isn't. If I were to describe it, it would be a, a, a team tactic. Yes. Oh. Do you know who I am? Juggernaut getting a little amnesia, asking everyone who he is. I, listen, I'm curious as well. On Bullseye. Ooh. So this is an active tactics card, so it can be used off turn. Getting Bullseye just yeeted over there. Goodbye. All right. A long throw on a character like that is. That yeah. Is, yeah. It's a lot. And you can't even parting shot. You can't even parting shot it. It's not an attack. Next round, though, Bullseye could move up and then hit and run to get back in closer and potentially one-shot Juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it happen with Voodoo. We have. We have. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, so this is going to be the last activation of the round, Angela. Oh, wow. That's a going quite a way to stop. Loki uh, could, could be in trouble, Hill. No trickster, huh? Don't think he had the power. He beamed on his turn into Mystique. Five successes. Doesn't generate anything. Five on that. And four go through. Wow. All right. Loki All right. does not seeing, like that. Seeing some major swings here. She gets a reposition. And it's part of that, and Loki is dazed. Jeez. But he didn't right. no hammers because they're all on Brotherhood side, right? right? Yeah. Yep. Here we go, though. We might see an absolutely incredible first round. Well, we've now got... That was round one? That was round two. That was round two. Woo! We might see an incredible first activation. Sorry. <laughs> round three from uh, the Dread Dormammu himself. Mm. Well, how much power is that bad boy sitting there? He spent a lot of it, and uh, Dr. Voodoo sapped it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, he is sitting at just what he gained during the power phase. i got to be honest. I'm... All right, so we're throwing some terrain to generate some power with the Brotherhood, and uh, Angela also went over and healed Mystique a little bit. So it's, that, it's all about... And Wong and the MVP is probably going to move up and meditate. And I think that that is, uh, that is what we're going to do. You know, when you... Uh, 
when you when you decide to heal your teammates instead of yourself, mm -hmm. it just really shows that the dream work is happening yeah. Yeah. Yes. because of the teamwork. Captain Chaos, Captain Chaos, Captain Chaos. Thank you <laughs> for the follow. Yeah. We're a little more seven now. We're out right ten. All right. Oh boy, Brotherhood at ten. All right. So we're six, two, ten. Here going into round three of the second round. Seven victory points snagged. When you have four hammers, yeah. listen, uh, there's not a whole lot anyone can do yeah. to stop you. <laughs> Good, Magneto nice. will be flipped. Winter Soldier will be flipped. Loki will be flipped. Magneto will also be flipped, as will Dormammu. And Magneto, some might say. Mm -hmm. And then Magneto will also be flipped. <laughs> As if brotherhood prior priority. Come on. So, how many passes have we seen since I? We got? have seen a pass. Yeah. I, I've actually not seen pass passes used this much ever. Yes. To yep. be perfectly fair. How do you feel about the pass playthrough so far, Danny? Are, are are they passing more than you expect? Are they passing less? I feel like. We haven't seen a lot of passing, and I don't think that I really expected to see a lot of it. Yes. Um, I feel like they are passing less than we do on True. the network. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Well, I think Tim passes even when it's not technic like tactically sound because he wants to. Right. Yes, I give passing the priority in my play. It's true. You do. It's in my cookbook, uh, the PPP. <laughs> that's priority. <laughs> I love you. Not to be confused with the loans. And the PPP is backed by the BBB. It is. The um, Better Business Bureau. Better Bucky Bureau. Betty Bu <laughs> Better Bucky Bureau. Bucky. Betty Bucky's Bucky. butter based brownies. <laughs> They're also keto friendly. Magneto going. Magneto for also, that? Magneto does still have priority. Oh, because Wong finished out the round, so we're going into round three now. That's fair. I believe they've chosen violence. <laughs> It was promised violence in the last game, and I got a minimal amount. So I would was say there is more amount. violence uh, in yes. this game. Yep. I mean, we're round two, and we have at least three people dazed. So. Yeah. So on the flip, Dormammu does, in fact, get a couple more stamina. Ooh. Oh, wow. Going up to 12. Yeah. Yes. So we're throwing a construct from Magneto into Dormammu. I mean, still, it's only size two. It's only doing three damage. He should be able to block this handily for two damage. Unfortunately, just the defense dice for Genoa are very cold today. Yeah. Which is kind of what we've seen every game. Either yeah. it's... But Dormammu is going to unleash some incantations of obliterations. Yeah, for real. Potentially for real. kill Magneto and daze a bunch of others. Attacking Dormammu now with a reverse polarity. He is within two, so he will be able to re-roll. He gets seven. Did I hear that number correctly? Wow. The, listen, the witch in the parking lot giving out dice. Wow. Okay. Seven went through? Wow. Okay. All right. We're, we're, we're sitting on three stamina left. That's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, I, I think we got, you got to spend to throw him back and hex him here. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Absolutely. I think the hex is probably the best bet. Right. So we got to feel the power of darkness. Magneto's felt it before. But... Oh, Magneto flips so he's not already hexed. So he doesn't get incinerated. Yeah, he also shook it before being dazed really. by a laser. Uh -huh. <laughs> If there's anybody to laser bombardment. What's up? What's his? Yep, we do get the hex out. Absolutely. Right, so the hex goes. He gets pushed. Absolutely the right call there, I feel. I feel the power. For real. Darkness. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Throwing another piece of terrain. All right. Trying to peel off the last uh, three, is it, right? Mm hmm. I mean, he might be able to do it. Absolutely. Blocks all of it. Okay. Tanks it. Soaks it all. Dormammu's ticked now. About, That's about yeah, it's about yeah. time. 
that fire can show some fury. One last attack. One last attack. Oh, no. That might be it. We'll see here. <clears throat> and this Let's is see. We, we're, we, not, we're not exploding crits anymore as he's hexed. She takes exactly the amount she needs. Yes. Dormammu is gone. Did you? And Dormammu's off the table. That is... That's a huge loss. Huge loss. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. That is... <laughs> One, so One deception. Like we have a very animated uh, op, uh, ominous up there. So they were going to follow the leader anyway uh, to try to get that Dormammu down. I, that's a shame just seeing... There was yep. such an awesome, strong, cool start from Dormammu picking up two hammers. That deception really One deception. Side of this yeah, thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, if you have Mystique anywhere, you need, need It's deception. an auto take. Absolutely. If you have Mystique, yeah. it's an auto take every absolutely. time. Absolutely. There's no reason why you should never not have it in the pocket. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I mean that, like, not just in your roster, in your squad. Yeah. Even if you don't have Mystique there, you should still have it. <laughs> it's true. Yep. Just it's like, in all the rosters I build 100% of the time. Just like Lethal yep. Protector, every time. Yeah. Every Especially time. with the new art. That you can only add Adepticon if you're Adepticon. signed up. Signed for up for the event. Any single one of the events. So even the open play battle pass. If you're you those nine promo still cards. Still yeah. no. If you're still on the fence, stop by just for the cards. Yeah, if you're yeah. in the you know northwest northeast area. Uh-huh. Nope. Nope. Central Central Time Zone area. Central Time Zone area. I don't know where we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Geography is a lot like every other um, class for me. Uh, not good. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, Tim drove 13 hours. 13 here. hours nonstop would not let us pee. <laughs> it's true. They were like, we need to stop at the sheets. And I said, no. Uh -huh. And then I willed a detour into existence. <laughs> so we couldn't physically go there. That happened. That actually happened. He then um, gave us some sleepy time uh, uh, drinks and some put us asleep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because he was like, I don't even want to listen to you, uh -huh. kids. Time vortex. All he hit me with a shoe. It was awful. <laughs> he took his shoe off while driving. Yeah, I filled it with melatonin. I called it my smellatonin attack. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to cruise control. <laughs> Anywho, we are going into we our first activation for Team Genoa in round three. Loki is going to be attacking Mystique here. I absolutely love that we're seeing so much Loki play. Yeah, absolutely. for real. For real. Yesterday with uh, Loki with hammers was just probably my favorite Avenger I've ever seen. <laughs> yes. Yep. Now, I will say this. I've been off stream. There we go. Look at all those blank sets. <laughs> so I've I've been off stream. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was running around uh, mainly just using the bathroom. Three, 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 three on Mystique. Mystique. Uh, I've come a... back. Juggernaut is in literally the same place. <laughs> yeah, everyone that was around him though <laughs> is, is not. Um, did Juggernaut has Juggernaut not moved or has Juggernaut just done a lap and come back? Nope, he's just been punching people away and throwing bullseye away. All right, as we've seen in the last game, Dormammu. Er, Dormama Juggernaut can go the entire table if he needs to. Correct. So we're going to swing again by the sounds of it. All right. For one. And we sound like nothing. we live here. I absolutely agree, Cricket Rat. <laughs> Dude, Cricket yeah. Rat. Um, what a monster. <laughs> uh, listen, I've been called a lot worse so far. <laughs> Today, even. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I called you Dan when I was walking over here because I thought you were up on the stage. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> My exact words were, oh, Tim's up on the stage, and then I let you go, nope, that's Dan. <laughs> yep. We'll probably never forgive you. Yep, that's uh, fair. It turns out when you share the same wardrobe. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Well, you both had a hat. <laughs> <laughs> that's how a lot of people get us confused. Yep. What do you think of that? Okay. So I'm, we did some damage to Mystique. A little bit, not a ton. My heart is still empty that Dormammu got peeled. Yeah, same. All right. He said Angela's going after Loki? It sounded like Angela, I think, yeah. All right, I hear a ton of dice, so probably the case. <laughs> Tim, I don't know if you know this. If you have a fistful of dice, you have a fighting chance here. That's true. That's one of the things that are, that I've heard said. Yeah. Whiffed on whiffed. Angela. Nice. Six blanks. Wow. Okay. What is the uh, what is the score in round number? I can't actually read it. It's round number three. The score is six to ten. Genoa to Brotherhood of Austin. There you go. Oh, oh, I see it now. 
it's weird. It's not giant highlighted numbers that you wrote earlier. Louder. Four damage to Loki. Thank you. Four damage on Four Loki. damage to Loki on the second attack from Angela. That is a KO. He's out. He is out. Wow. All right. The Dark Dimension is not feeling too dour today. In fact, they're only feeling dour is what I meant to say. I think Scarlet Witch might be trying to screw some things up in the Dark Dimension. Yeah. So Mambo's like, you know what? This isn't worth it. It could be. I used to have this super cool book here. Someone took right. it. I guess I'll pick up these hammers instead. This jerk's just throwing metal at me. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Remember that time Mystique was like, hey, Dormammu, come over here. <laughs> yeah, and he just fell for it. And he like, did. I mean, all right. Hey, is this your book? <laughs> so we still have a Dr. Voodoo yeah. on the table. Okay. Juggernaut is still going as well. Okay. Hammers. Juggernaut still has a hammer. Angela has a hammer. And Juggernaut and uh, Dr. Voodoo have not activated. We still have... And Mystique is up there too, yeah. Winter Soldier. We still have Bullseye Iron and Wong. Iron Man too? And Iron Man. Have we seen the Helios Cannon yet? Yes. So, we saw a spirit bomb level Helios Cannon. Oh, yeah, bud. Newt. Magneto from orbit. Oh my god. From none to done. What'd you say? 23 days 27 23 dice. dice. Oh, good golly. <laughs> 17 successes, and that's when they decided to stop rolling the crits. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I love more than when a plan comes together. Yeah. 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 For sure. I, uh, special effects team really, really did themselves happen. on that yeah. one, too. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have Bullseye moving up. Is he going to hit and run? Juggernaut still bleeding. Looks like we're lead. picking up some dice. Looks like Bullseye's going to make it. Uh, there Here we, we go. go. As we see, you know, uh, really good characters like Juggernaut and uh, Quicksilver. Uh, yes. Bullseye, good to take down Juggernaut for sure. Nothing goes through. Mm, but what I meant was... Years. But he never misses, I've heard. They spend the one power? No. Oh, they're going again. Doesn't sound like it. Oh, we got one hit this time. And we lock again. Okay. Not spending for never miss, I guess. Not spending for never miss. Sometimes, listen, with okay. I, I can see that. Sometimes the rolls happen in a way, and you're just like, you know what? It's fine. I think he still hit him. It's just, he's just yeah. got a big helmet. Right? So did the big D get deception and turn one and get knocked straight away? Yes, Neil, sure that is what happened. Dormammu started out with their first middle hammer, picked it up, moved over to the other one. Oh, yeah. Eight dice in a bullseye. Here we go. And uh, they got they got hurt real bad. Real bad. So we got Juggernaut going into the man, the myth, the legend, the bullseye himself. Will he survive? No, I fine. believe he will. He's cool. And then we party. Nine, Nine oh, dice hammer. into yeah. bullseye with a hammer. <laughs> After a move to get some extra dice and some power. I don't love it. I, I'm not a huge fan. I can't wait until he... Uh, unless, uh, unless I'm cheering for Juggy, then yeah, I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh, oh. With extreme prejudice. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like Bullseye's taking a minimum of five here. He is pushing before yep. the damage before is dealt. Damage is dealt. It, it is a before? before okay. Right. okay. Is before. I, so I don't know a lot about Juggernaut. Uh, yeah. I, I haven't gotten a chance to really dive into Juggernaut yet. So, uh, he got a bunch of moving violations. For uh, sure. So he doesn't like traffic lights. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. um, do you know who he is, though? Is the, is the main question. All right, I you got your back with Winter Soldier going into Juggernaut with an assault rifle. Uh, Neo specifically. Juggernaut is already at max power. Now's the time to do damage. What is the? Uh, what is the? I think it's range four. What's range four? What's the? What's the power cost? Nothing. Nothing. No, it just happens. Nothing. So I would rather see a power cost added to it versus uh, changing the range. That's just me specifically. Any damage either, Winter Soldier. Um, yeah, I like it going to three. I think three is fair as far as a balance. I don't want to see it have a power cost. Mostly because I just don't just want to a one. power. Just a one. Yeah. I would rather I'd rather have a longer range. That way I can move people differently. Like yeah. I, I, and and pay for it than to negate because I don't want my mystique within range three. Oh. Juggernauty. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, Juggernaut and Nerds to Pain, that bleed, heals a little bit with the um, Riot Extremist Council. Um, so the, the thing I, here's what I don't like as far as Deception having a power cost. Uh, a lot of the big plays around Mystique are moving long, getting 
objectives and then moving people awesome with deception or getting them into range. Because so much of that revolves around her having a single power, it just, it really throws it off a whack for me. Okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so Ominous, Ominous uh, offering some advice, you know, uh, just, hey, I want to explain this. And Joe's like, no, no, after the game, I want to learn from mistakes. Uh, but I definitely want to hear the advice, though. So, and that's just one of the things. We, we are very lucky to be, uh, to have Omnis here. Juggernaut takes three from Red Fury. Very lucky to have Ominous here. Uh, a real true example of the community as far as just hospitality yeah, in the game real. space. For real. You know? Absolute unit of a human being in this so, community. Just a good good player and a good person. Correct. You know, it just, yeah. Can't get any better. So we've seen a Red Fury onto Juggernaut. He took some damage from it. He will now be pushed back and an assault rifle will go off. Uh, this is actually some of the, this is the most damage we've seen, uh, tied for at least at one time onto Juggernaut. Let's see if the follow-up assault rifle can do anything. And it gets blocked. Looks like we have the buck, yeah. For sure. Oh, oh, rapid fire! Yeah. Here's the rapid fire. This is why I love Red Fury. Now, does rapid fire? Not again. Does rapid fire just go off, or you have is to roll it a wild? Hit. You have to roll a hit. Okay. Yeah. Wild bleed hit for rapid. Fire. Am I thinking Punisher? Is his a hit his, as well? His, his just happens. His just happens. His just happens. Okay. Punisher's amazing. Well, he's just so much better. Yeah. In every way. Mystique's is uh, also a hit, as is uh, Black Widow, Agent of Shield. Mm. Okay. And that's, is that the three? Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's an opportunity uh, now for me to just revert it and say that uh, it's going to be Winter Soldier taking down Juggernaut? <laughs> I mean, it could be. I, I and then like I would be right. Your, uh, Instead of just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like no, I did not lock in my Big Chuck call. Of <laughs> it's the Big Chuck call of the game. I think we actually already had played that. Uh, I, did I forget that? Was I not here for that? This is the beautiful thing about the Big Chuck. You don't Chuck. think you were here for the Big Chuck call of the game? <laughs> Here's the beautiful thing about the Big Chuck call of the game. <laughs> is uh, you can call whenever you want. <laughs> All right, Chuck. That I'm was so sorry, Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Specifically Dallas and nobody else. Oh, All right, so we, okay. we got Iron Man moving. Oh, Voodoo threw oh, Iron okay. Man. All right. And I'm guessing Voodoo... And he's moving back. I'm guessing Honestly. Voodoo still has a brother Daniel token at this point. Yeah. I would imagine. No reason to put it on anybody else. So this is going to be a very uphill battle, unfortunately, for Janelle. Yeah. They have, have four hammers that are holding him down. Loki is dead. Juggernaut has one and just simply doesn't feel like taking damage today. So And two on Voodoo, you said? And uh, two on Dr. Voodoo. Yeah, so he's never getting rid of that token. Got right. it. Iron Man's going to have a mistake. All right, Iron Man All on right. mistake. Iron Man might be able to do something here. And, you know, Tony Stark going after Mystique, that tracks. Yeah. For real. Yeah, actually. Yeah, very <laughs> that good That tracks point. real hard. <laughs> Friday AI. All right. Friday AI. I'm guessing a Reposer Blast? I, I heard that they have a great sampler platter, Friday AI. You know, I haven't been there myself. Yeah. But yeah. I hear it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> but ba 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 we're nuking it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have some dice on the table. One, One damage is seen to right. seek Mystique. Here we go. <laughs> Who needs uh, more than just single power? Am I right, Neo? Iron Man is activated. We have, I believe... It's not like AMG also makes three power tokens that you can use or anything. Correct. You know? right. Right. All right, Mystique is interacting with the Riot Extremist Council to heal one of her stamina, and then is going to pop and lock some rapid fires, hopefully, into Iron Man. Iron Man is going to be very difficult to damage here with four physical defense and an invulnerability. No damage I hear indeed. He's invincible, actually. That's that's my understanding. Yep, for sure. 
I, so I gotta be honest. I really love Vanilla Iron Man. Mm. I really do. He's uh, espionage now. Espionage. Espionage. So this, I believe, has stun, and adds the stun before the damage is dealt. One damage. For one. I believe it's very similar to just like a, a like a regular Capitavi, but it has like a little bit more corkscrew in it. And espionage. Yeah. Yep. So Dallas, you missed. Uh, Dormammu with two hammers getting deception into the enemy back line followed up by an Helios laser bombardment for 23 dice into Magneto nuking him out of the sky yeah. rolling 17 hits and 23 dice and that's when they gave up on rolling the crits <laughs> <laughs> Helios do what Helios do if there's I think I, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my uh, my my big right. my big call my call, my big Chuck call today. Yeah. Um, if there's one thing that um, Dallas loves more than a ruckus, it's a Helios laser. <laughs> Bombardment. Okay. We and Brotherhood reaching 16 they here. 16. To the game. And honestly, it wasn't a moment too soon. Wong was on his way to smack yeah. Juggernaut. Because if off. Wong had made it to Juggernaut. Here's a, we joke about it. There's a very good chance it would have happened. Yeah, we've seen it happen a million times before. The one yeah. just goes up and just like kung fu punches somebody in the face, and it's just over. Five yes. out of four dice every time. Yeah, it was <laughs> well, and it was just it was really unfortunately cold rolling for. Yes, those yeah. are ours. Uh, for the dark dimension, just unfortunately only usually getting one hit on their stuff through. But. We saw some absolutely incredible things. A Dr. Voodoo with two hammers, or Dramamu with two hammers. Yeah, An real. insane Helios laser yeah. bombardment. And just, just really a team coming together to uh, make sure Magneto was no longer awake. Yes. <clears throat> if there's one thing that puts down a dude uh, that can uh, that can control magnetism yeah. at godlike levels, it's a beam that is not, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's accidentally throwing the sun at somebody. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, so I'm really just showing the absolute power of deception again because it worked so well in the last one too we got our two deceptions off with yeah. two mistakes mm -hmm. just fantastic well and the deceptions have really been a, a, a shining star of the day they've been doing a lot of work like a ton of work for sure on a three threat character too yeah it's, uh, I, I love mistake absolutely yeah, uh, absolutely, Dallas. This is uh, don't get helium bombardment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a god tier ruckus for sure. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> um, so this was a great game. Uh, some newer players, some older players, some more veterans. But honestly, so, the atmosphere has been stellar the whole time. Yeah, great to see ominous yep. again uh, mm -hmm. with Chewy for sure. Ominous. Yeah. What did I say? Ominous. Oh, I said. <laughs> Um, it, it is ominous, uh, and great to see uh, these these two players here who are just about being here, having fun, and yes. that beautiful display board once again. And we got to yeah. see Dormammu yes. on the table. We did. I you know Dormammu, Loki, Juggernaut. It's literally like all of my favorites like popped in here. I was like, "What is this list? I need it. I need it in my life Swap now." Winter Soldier for uh, Punisher in your set. You know? Honestly, I'm a big Winter Soldier guy, <laughs> yeah. so I'm like super into this well, uh, into that the, build. On the southern part of the map, when Danny and I were here, it was Bullseye and Winter Soldier up against yeah. Juggernaut, being like, "Listen, I know who we're pulling for." <laughs> like, I mean, we want we want to be impartial, but when you play literally all of our favorite characters right. that exactly. give us yeah. just the greatest amount of gimmick and shtick, mm -hmm. yeah, of course we're gonna cheer for you. Absolutely. Who, who doesn't want you know? Someone was called that, weren't they? The Kenny Blankenship? Yeah, you! Oh, it was you! <laughs> oh, great! So for some reason, Dallas, I don't... I can't actually figure it out, Dallas. If I can have a conversation with you specifically right now, he's never seen Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. I have no idea how that's even possible. It's so odd that that's come up so many times over the last <laughs> Because it was great! That's why. I know, listen, I will get to it. And I don't know, maybe be offended by the Kenny Blank. No, thing? you won't. You'll absolutely em embrace it and it will become your new persona. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, found, I, I found your new character. <laughs> <laughs> Neo brings up a great point. Uh, to me, my X-Men Avengers Assemble and uh, Asteroid M we saw a lot as well. That's another good one yes. to throw in there too. Yep. Well, and, and it's not a lot of work, too. I mean, technically, you're playing Juggernaut. <laughs> like, whenever you need him. Oh, a you need they're playing a tactical Juggernaut? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So what if Juggernaut with a rainbow branch? <laughs> right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, we never saw it yesterday, yeah, but there was a very good possibility. Of course, check out our, our VOD. Yeah, for sure. The VOD Absolutely. from yesterday, the what if event. So, where, uh, I, I wish we had enough, things happen. I wish we had enough players to do it locally because yeah. that looked like so much fun. So much fun. I think I think that's a goal for sure. Um, Absolutely. Well, and we'll we'll do that over the summer. You know, we found some uh, some other locals here at Adepticon where you know sometimes oh, heck yeah. you drive 13 hours to find people that are down your street. <laughs> yeah, but it's worth it that you pass on time at on the way through. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so don't cut people off on the highway. You yeah. never know. <laughs> They're going to be streaming right there. Correct. Uh, <laughs> uh, and yell at us the whole time. Uh, yeah. It was a, a great match. We got to see some incredible things. I am so happy Dormammu was there. I uh, really, yes. it would have been cool to see some incantations of obliterations, but... Uh, no breathing. No breathing. <laughs> uh, and once again, it would not be me if I didn't just reiterate the same thing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the it. terrain team here at Adepticon, oh my gosh, like absolutely. we're we're close to um, the Legion stuff. Yeah, those tables are next level. All of this amazing painted terrain, mm -hmm. and we're hoping to maybe do a table switch out just to get something new on the street yep, yeah, coming up next. Will, sure. We I, the the street level fighting it looks absolutely phenomenal. They did an amazing job, Dallas. Absolutely, just beautiful. It's still the. The Hydro Quinjet. I can't get over it. Yeah. It's so good. It's <laughs> absolutely. Shout out to Wapple. Wapple. James Wapple. It's James not, Wapple. It's not Waffle. Which it's is not I Waffle. Hearing. I don't. Listen, he's Waffles for me for, from now on, forever. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he appreciates it. Yeah, he doesn't. I found out. <laughs> I know, Neo, we didn't get to see the Wakandan list, but it looked brutal. It did. That was one we certainly wanted to take a look at. For sure. Um, there was uh, the, the criminal syndicate list as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you throw Kingpin anywhere near me, I'm already correct. excited. Yeah. You know? So, uh, yeah, I, I think that that's absolutely something we'll probably try to do over the summer. That was an absolute blast. Try to get some more players in, mm -hmm. maybe some new faces. And, uh, and of course, if you want to see that, give us a little follow so you know when we go live this summer. That's true. Right here sure. at twitch.tv slash professional casual network. And make sure to get those notifications all week mm. live from Adepticon. There is a, yeah, so there is a tent, if you are here, the Fort Wapple tent is just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, there, he's doing some amazing stuff over there. All right, yes, it is super cool. Adepticon does give access to all of their rules. So, so you can do, you can in fact play those things at home. Thanks for playing, folks. I will be back in a minute. All right, Tactical Taylor taking a tactical retreat off of stream. You Probably can see him running right tinkle. there, actually. <laughs> he tactically he's, ran away. He's still going. Tim, he's talking to someone, shaking hands. All Make right, let's babies. give you the step by step. They're still in <laughs> shot. Uh oh, who is it? We don't know. I don't know, but they're still talking. They, we love it. Could for it be a friend? Could it be a foe? We just don't know. We don't know. He's still there, still talking. Seems like they're being rather cordial. It is a red shirt, so it could be anyone. It could be a staff member. Oh, he's coming back. Oh. Looks like he has oh. taken off and he is headed this way. He looks, dare I say, chipper. Chipper. All right. All right. And now he's going to the stage. Um, um, now he's in complete tactical mode. Headed to the stage. I'm a little concerned for him. Yeah. What's that? He's swapping terrain he's out. He's swapping terrain. If there's one thing Taylor is good at tactically, it it's is a terrain swapping swap. terrain. Let's go ahead and see exactly what he will be swapping out live. All there right. So we're table. back here on the board. We can see a little bit of that uh, that stand that uh, Joe. I'm really glad we done. are on that side of the building. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. As far as the sides of the building to be on, that is the most <laughs> that's, appropriate that's one. That's the one. Tactical Taylor, place. could you turn that display again so we can get a great look at the Bleaker Street Grocery? So this was done by Joe here in the last Beautiful. game. This is an absolutely gorgeous display I piece. I am so unbelievably impressed with this community. Yes. There are some amazing um, hobbyists out there, some amazing painters out there. They really, and I, I get it, it's Adepticon. You got to bring your display. This is some of the best looking stuff I've, I've seen. Absolutely. And there's just, there's no shortage of absolutely gorgeous stuff over uh -huh. there. Uh, the only place to see it is right here at Adepticon, so make sure if you are anywhere near here, or if you're not, you got time. There's events all day today. Mm -hmm. We'll be continuing to cover the team tournament. Tomorrow starts a contest of champions, a two-day double donger, where we will cover pretty much all of the things that champions could potentially contest. The, and that's a that's a 1v1. Mm -hmm. That is going to be an absolute bloodshed. I, here's the thing about 
about the team tournament. Yeah. It, do people take it seriously? Absolutely. But it's still funny games. And it's there fun. will be zero shenanigans tomorrow. Right. For Contest of Champions. Mm-hmm. Everything is on the line. Everything is going to be knocked down, drag out, beat them up. Right now, there's four fists flying. And that's right. that's how it be. It's, it'd here. be like that sometimes. It'd but it's, it's like that sometimes. It's still MCP. People are going to be here to have fun. They're going to be making sure to... Uh, what's that? Give me a card. Give you a card? Yep. Uh, oh, uh, a big truck yeah, card. Yeah, we'll do one. We'll do one. Here we go. Uh, we're going to talk to a friend who we've seen uh, a couple times here. Just make sure to scream into that mic as it is a little quiet. Yep. We have Mr. Chewy. Chewy. Hey. hey. Welcome. Welcome. What's up, everybody? How are you? How are we doing? I'm good, man. Uh, one, two games so far. I don't know yeah. The first one went to time, and it was kind of weird. Uh, but this it game w- went kind of the way I thought it would. Um, we had a game plan. We knew that when we looked at the list, we knew it was going to be Dark Dimension for sure. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we noticed that they really didn't have anyone outside of Dormammu that can go out and get the outside DX tracks. Yeah. We have two models. So we have Juggernaut, we have Angela that can do it. So we can, Angela can just walk once, grab it, kind of stay there and move back. Juggernaut can move, push, break its frame feature, gain a power, grab yeah. it, and it'd still be able to move and grab that. So we're like, okay. Um, what we didn't expect, we thought they didn't know the Dormammu play, which is like Dormammu just grabs one and then moves twice and grabs the other one. Yeah. So when we saw that, we're like, oh, they do know. We're like, okay, that's why we have deception. So. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And, yeah. So, so tell me about that, that Helios laser bombardment. <laughs> <laughs> I was the happiest person to see it played out I, I, right away. It, one of my favorite tactics cards, and the fact that they went full tilt for it, why leave power in anyone? Yeah, absolutely. Just full send. Why yeah. not? Yeah, otherwise you're going to just sit on power. You just, with Dark Dimension, you're just going to kill yourself. Slowly. Right. So exactly. it was the right, I mean, was it the right or wrong play? Who knows at the end of the day? But um, It was I mean, awesome. It was yeah, awesome. but it looked dope. It looked dope. It was yeah. rad as heck. Exactly. That's why it was cool. Who's you know? mad? Like, who doesn't like rolling dice? I mean, you get to roll 23 dice and hey, Magneto's dead. <laughs> And right. that's that's what that's what's so beautiful about this game is like yeah. yeah there's there's a lot of tactic involved in it but then you get to Helios bombardment somebody <laughs> exactly. in the process you know what I mean like exactly. why would you not want to just shoot a laser from the sky and just nuke an old man off the planet Absolutely. you know what I mean just take him off hey man and narratively too Iron Man seeing like oh. Oh, shoot, they just dazed Dormammu. <laughs> All right, now's the time, please. <laughs> <laughs> please kill Magneto. Please yep. do it right now. So, um, yeah, tell like, me, finishing that first round yeah. with Dormammu having one health left, uh, were you excited about that? Yeah. Effectively getting Dormammu off the second round completely? Yeah, absolutely. We were happy with it. I mean, uh, if we dazed them better, because then we would have ended up with the hammers and then we would have had a higher point at that point. Yeah. The game probably would have ended the turn sooner. Mm-hmm. But... When I, I always love leaving somebody on one health point going into next turn. Yeah. Because what that effectively does is that uh, takes away another activation beginning of that turn. Yeah. If I can't do one damage, I mean, it is what it is. But if I end up facing that character, it takes away another activation. And I'm, and I'm at the point where that point, and I have the advantage. Yeah. So it was, no, it was sweet. I didn't think we were to get that much damage under my mind. Honestly, I thought we'd leave maybe like three left and yeah. then, okay, whatever. But I was happy. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was stacking up really fast. And it's so funny, too, during that first round, you threw something out and you got a couple damage through and then it hit. I think the first one didn't do much, but the second one, and yeah. I was like, all right, they didn't do much here. And I was like, oh, no, wait. Oh, no, that's a, yeah, that's a lot. Right. Uh-oh. Yep, yep. Man, um, it's, yeah, I mean, this game's awesome. Maybe some Dallas can't play it. Oh, yeah, Dallas is high. He knows who I am. That's awesome. This is Chewy. <laughs> All right, Chewy, where can people find you? Where can they check out you and your stuff oh, outside of Adeptica? Okay. okay, so on YouTube, I'm Chewy89. Um, my Twitch is Chewy891. My Twitter is Chewy891. You just find me on there. I'm nowhere else to be found. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We love, we, love, we love having you here, bud. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, of course. We have a little thing here oh, sure. at the Professional Casual Network. Okay. A little, a little prestigious club, an honorable club. We're going to make you an honorary member right now. And that is, of course, the Big Chuckers Only Club. You are going to be officially added. And because you're getting added, that means you get a very special nickname cur- curated by us. And then our chat will tell us it's dumb and give us a real one. Uh, <laughs> I feel honored, by the way. The you way should. this works is uh, I'm going to think of a random word. Tim's going to think of a random word. And then the chat's mm-hmm. going to tell us how it can be better. Here we go. Tim, are you ready? Uh, I need a second. All right. You need a word. Get a word. I All got right, a word. I got a word. You ready? I'm good. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Bombardment. Sweet bombardment it is. Uh, 
All right. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't know if you're in the market, but that's that's a great tag to put on a Tinder profile. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right, I'm going to let you write your word. Bombardment? Yep. Good All luck, right. bud. All right. Yep. Listen, I got it. Here's the thing. It's, I'm only going to pick words I know how to spell, which really limits my vocabulary. Uh, I got bomb. <laughs> bard? Munt. Is it bard bomb? I believe it ends with a Q-U-E. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's M-E-T. I think that's it. Yeah. Bombardment. There you go. There you go. Official Big Chucker yeah. added. Official Welcome to the club, bud. Thank you. I appreciate it. We love that for you. Absolutely. And Thank for you all so you much. other Big Chuckers out there, I, as always, Elite Eight Showdown every Friday, where you can see Big Chuck and I yell at each other yep. about a bracket with eight things in it that yep. could be about anything or everything. <laughs> Real quick, this actually today dropped a new episode. We picked my new job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we picked my new job. It was a toss up between like a monster truck driver or a, a graveyard, uh, uh, graveyard digger. Yeah, graveyard digger. Oh, yep. So, oh little things like that. Go check out my show, Lady Show. Though. All right, definitely. And all podcasting platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thank guys, you so much. Hey, Chewy. thank you, Chewy. Thank you. Super thank happy you. to meet you. Glad yeah. we had you on stream a couple times. Yeah. And good luck in the rest of the events. Tim, let me, um, yeah. it's just you and I. It is. Let's talk about it. Two-man booth right now. Uh-huh. Are you going to just marathon this like you did driving, not allowing me to go get you some lunch? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Excellent. That's what I like to see because I would throw your uh, food immediately away. There was no napkin on it as well established That's true. here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as we've established. Actually, as the man, the myth, the legend, the um, scrolling up in chat, as the Kenny Blankenship yep. of the Professional Casual Attacker. Network. I'll actually go get my own lunch oh, okay. as we'll go and take a small break small as break. we get set up for round three. We're going to set up for round three. Thank you all for joining us here. Of course, give us a like and a follow if you can, if you will. Find us anywhere. All of our links are in the description below. We are the Professional below. Casual Network, and we will be right back. Thank you. Also, one last look at this incredible display piece before we go amazing. out. Amazing. Absolutely the amazing. art and the paintership here at Adepticon is on another level. You gotta get here, you gotta check it out. You gotta try to talk over a very loud speaker. But we will be back in a little bit. At 1.15. Oh, yeah. If you have some miniatures for the painting award.